Hello everyone, hope you're doing great. So today we're going to discuss something really cool and interesting. So let's say you'd like to have some dynamic date on your website. So for example, in this particular page, you can see an example. So last updated on November 3rd, uh, 2021. So this particular date keeps on changing automatically every other day. So how do we do this kind of dynamic information on our web pages? So we'll learn this step by step in this particular video. So uh, this particular date, so let's say we'd like to have uh, this kind of information so let's say we would like to show that this particular page is updated today so how do you do it uh, on a daily basis in automation mode so let's try to apply it in one new web page and show you how to uh, do this so this is one of uh, this is a sample landing page that I'm gonna take for this particular example so let's say we would like to show that uh, the next batch is starting today at 6 pm or let's say the next batch is starting uh, tomorrow 6 pm something like that so how do we change or how do we do this dynamic time field so very simple if you're using elementor i'm showing it in elementor if you're using elementor then simply you need to uh, drag and drop a text field you can either use a heading or a text editor let's uh, drag and drop a text heading over here and now what i can do is i can just remove the default text over there and try to uh, try to add the dynamic field over here so this dynamic tags helps you to insert um, a, a insert a command that will automatically drive in the information as per the given function so over here i'm looking for current date and time so i'll just uh, look for this current date and time and now one uh, quick option over here would be to click on this text again now if you click on this you'll be getting the settings over here now let's change the settings to our desired one so let's say we would like to showcase it as november 3rd 2021 so you can select as per your likes uh, and then let's say the time format i don't want the time to be there so i just remove the time over here and then if you move to advanced you would be able to add some text before and after this dynamic tag So we can just add next batch starts uh, on this particular date 6 pm right and this is how we can quickly customize uh, a dynamic tag on our website so what will this do is this will automatically keep on changing uh, the text every other day so i'll just change the text color uh, to the desired one and also the formatting of it so that it looks good uh, all right now here i'll be doing some more formatting on the text so let's say this is what i would like to have on my website so this is done the next step would be to also have let me just also have some quick height over here line height so this is done now i'll move back and do some more changes on this so november 3rd 2021 this is uh, the date format and then uh, there is something called before and after text so let's say i would like to have uh, a quick uh, space after it uh, after the after this particular text and a quick uh, uh, bracket so space you can simply use the space button over here and you can see that a space is added over here now i also want uh, the date to be displayed in the second line so i just put uh, a quick code br so br is the html code for bracket uh, for for line break so if you uh, paste in the uh, this code this particular code for break line break uh, so angle bracket br you'll be able to see that the date has moved to the second line and now I'll just put one more space over here so that the, there is a pr proper space between the time and the date. So yeah, that's how you can easily do all the formatting. So yes, that's that was a quick, uh, se a quick session on how to insert dynamic tags and format it to the right style that you would like to have. Now, similarly, if you'd like to add some more dynamic tags, for example, I would like to, let's say I would like to have uh, the dynamic tag for uh, a particular page name or for a particular location i can do that as well so you can just uh, select uh, from this list of different dynamic tags in case your desired dynamic tag is not over here you can also use some short code over here so let's say you are adding some quick html code in uh, in the custom codes area of elementor and from there on you can just add a short code over here or you can also request a parameter based on uh, certain functionalities so if you click on it again you'll see that get and the query you can just put in the parameter name so this way also you can uh, define dynamic functions in elementor pages so yeah that was a quick session if you have any other queries if you have any other requirements so let's say this is not something that you're looking for you are looking for some more advanced uh, dynamic tags on, on your web page please let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to build a new video on this so yeah that's all thank you so much if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment section thank you so much have a great day Bye bye